Okay, so the next question is that, what is the difference between clustered index and non-clustered index? Yeah, so the difference between clustered index and non-clustered index is 1. A clustered index physically stores the data of the table in the order of the key's values, and the data is resorted every time, whenever a new value is inserted or a value is updated in the column on which it is defined. Whereas a non-clustered index creates a separate list of key values or creates a table of pointers that points towards the location of the data in the data pages. 2. A clustered index requires no separate storage than the table storage. It forces the rows to be stored sorted on the index key whereas a non-clustered index requires separate storage than the table storage to store the index information. 3. A table with a clustered index is called a clustered table. Its rows are stored in a B-tree structure sorted whereas a table without any clustered indexes is called a non-clustered table. Its rows are stored in a heap structure unsorted. 4. The default index is created as part of the primary key column as a clustered index. 5. In a clustered index, the leaf node contains the actual data whereas in a non-clustered index, the leaf node contains the pointer to the data rows of the table. 6. A clustered index always has an index ID of 1 whereas non-clustered indexes have index IDs greater than 1. 7. A table can have only one clustered index whereas prior to SQL Server 2008 only 249 non-clustered indexes can be created. With SQL Server 2008 and above 999 non-clustered indexes can be created. 8. A primary key constraint creates a clustered index by default whereas a unique key constraint creates a non-clustered index by default. So that's the difference between clustered index and non-clustered index.